Hello everyone and welcome to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. Um, I've been looking at the analytics for the YouTube channel and I've noticed that the, the video for how to draw a brick wall has got a lot of views and a, a, almost 90 hours worth of watch time. Um, it seems to be really popular so I was thinking about what I could do to sort of help other people with that, something similar. So I, I thought about potentially doing something like a stonewalling. Uh, broached the subject on Facebook and seemed to be a yeah, popular response. So I'm going to just cover on this video how I would go about drawing a stone walling and then you can copy that yourself and you know, obviously create your own wall. So the first thing you need to do is obviously get try and get a, a diagram of a wall or a drawing of a wall. So I've gone on the internet and gone to this, found this website after doing a search for a stone wall and uh, come up with this nice diagram here which we can obviously use to work from. So if we come into Fusion, I can insert that as a canvas. Onto it doesn't matter which surface you put it onto. I'm going to put it onto the this surface here. And let's just look at it around, zoom in, to see which way around it is. So it's the long way around for what I want, so I'm just going to flip it horizontally, click on OK. Once I've got this canvas imported, the first thing I need to do is calibrate it. So come on to calibrate, and this is basically going to put it to scale. So you can see we've got the height here is one, one metre. Now I'm going to go from where it touches the bottom to the, it could be the top, but I'm going to go to this point here and we'll scale it from there. Okay, and then I'm going to do some math. So it's going to be a thousand millimeters divided by one four eight for N gauge. Now that it's calibrated, I'm going to draw a sketch on the same surface. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to do it slightly in from the side at the height of the base. I'm going to go across as far as I want to draw it. You can dimension it now. Doesn't really matter what dimension we get at the moment. And I'm just going to dimension from the origin and the height from the origin. Okay, so now we've got that, I'm going to extrude that just a small small amount so that we've got a flat surface to draw off of. I'm going to create a sketch on that base and I'm going to use the spline tool. So all I'm going to do now is just try and trace around the, the stones that we've got here. That's been a bit weird there. Oops, let's try that again. Go up here. Okay, so now I want to just try and straighten this out. So I'm going to come to the bottom, I'm going to select this handle here, the green handle here. I'm going to snap that to horizontal vertical so that'll snap in. I'm then going to need to move this one. So I'm just going to grab that handle there. I'm going to just rotate that round. Try and create the curve down towards the bottom there. Okay, and then I want this handle. And again, I'm going to try and bring that up creating a snap to that horizontal if I can. It's going up slightly there. It's not the end of the world because I see, like I say, it's, it's a stone wall, so.
you can just play around with these to get the shape that you're after. Once you're happy with that, we can uh, fix that into position. So it's all locked into place. So okay. okay, then we'll move on to the next one. Again, just using the spline tool. So you're going to draw a line across the bottom, I think. There, there. And then use the spline tool to come up slightly, curve in. Again, because it's a stone wall, it doesn't have to be, you know, exact. You know, we're just using the diagram, really, to give us you know, some outlines that we can work with. One across there. Just continue this process all the way around here. Gonna continue. So I'm gonna do this a bit of a time lapse. So I'll just speed this up an hour a little bit for you.
So now you've got your stones all drawn. You want to create sort of a random pattern effect with the extrusions. So don't select every every stone, but just you know select random stones, and then we'll extrude these to one height, and then we'll maybe get another one onto a different height. Make sure when you do it, you get the whole stone, don't get part of it. We extrude these ones, let's say if we do um, five millimeters on those ones, we'll turn the sketch back on and then we select random stones again. We extrude them to three millimeters. Back forwards and then cut across. So now you've got, if you turn this canvas off and the sketch off, you can see we've got random effects, different heights. Okay. Now that'll print absolutely fine, and you know they all look flat, um, which uh, looks okay. I mean, when we're talking, it's the height of this in total. We're looking at, obviously, you can have a look and measure that seven millimeters in total so it's not massive you're not going to notice whether the, the stone is um, got any protrusions on it but you can do simple things again like you go to your fillet tool you know, just fill it that do 0 0.1 rounds off the edges okay and you can do that to random stones and you can completely you know change the fillet on it so you completely different shaped stones. So once you've played around, you've got all the shapes that you wanted, what I'd then do is I would personally turn this round, select all the faces that are sticking outside. And then just extrude them to match the back of the wall there so they're all the same thickness click on ok so it's come to the back of the wall like that you can see it's just throwing up this weird looking error here again i'm just going to go back and forwards check the bodies of all on body no you haven't got multiple body walls okay so what you can do is just combine them I'm not sure why it did that could be actually if we go back into edit this, yeah. Check that they're all joined. Yep. So which one of these ones? They're joined. This one. So that's gone new body, so we can do join on that. Oh. 
just, just make sure they're all joined there. So we've now got one complete body. And then what I would then do is just use a simple mirror tool. If you wanted to just have it you know, this one thickness, you could change it if you needed to. So you select the body, select the one you want, mirror plane being the back face. And there you go, you've got your dry stone wall. Okay, and obviously you can just do this you know, as much as you wanted to like, give you, yourself the length that you require. If you wanted to, and if you got the time to do it, you could do things like copy. And then you can just drag it across. Great copy first, that helps. And then you just drag this across, and then you got another one. And then what you'd have to do is go and just fill in these cracks. And the longer you've got it, the more random you've got it. Maybe you do a couple of different things. You could do things like rotating it round, so the stone's the opposite way round, just to create that random effect. And then you can print out these in lengths as long as you want it. So I hope that's given you some sort of idea of how to go about drawing a, a dry stone wall. Um, it's just a bit of an extension from that, that normal brick walling video that's done so well. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to make sure you know when the next video is going up. Thanks for watching.